Alright everyone, it is me, Johnson Chan, and it's actually 9.10 a.m. Uh, fortunately, I did a little too much late night snacking yesterday because both I was cold and I was kind of hungry. Right? You know, the more I try to restrict the calories, the more I just like, you know, take in like, you know, like in last night's case, like 100, 100 120 calories of like cinnamon toast crunch, and that's all I had, right? Because I was also really tired, and then I, uh, you know, uh, that obviously disrupted my sleeping cycle. So, you know, I tried going back to sleep when I woke up at like 5.30 a.m. And I just simply lied in bed for like the next two hours. So, you know, I kept thinking about my current problem, which is uh, the photon pun. So give me that same error, right? Came up with a lot of interesting ideas and tricks, though. Of course, none of them worked, but I do like the learning experience, surprisingly. So... You know, the good news is I'm not getting angry about bugs, you know, I'm not going crazy or anything. And, uh, you know, it's just a learning process. I also just tell myself, this is exactly why I will get the big bucks, because this is actually hard. But once you actually confront this difficulty, then it's really not nearly as bad as you think it is. Right. And then, of course, today is a lot better than back then when there was a reason to get angry, uh, because, um, you know, we didn't have Google, we didn't have the internet, really, you know, it was like the internet was just barely in its infancy. So I couldn't just, you know, find help, right? There, there was nowhere to get help, right? There was nowhere to get help. Uh, and then, yeah, uh, it was, uh, it was good. So anyway, um, I read a while ago that eventually you have to have like a reference book, right? And then I decided, oh, that was a good time to do it. So I finally made my first uh, GitHub, my first my first repository, let's see. So it should be uh, popular repositories. Why is this considered popular? So anyway, I created my coding reference here and I made it public so anyone can take a look at it. And then um, I, for, uh, I forgot to create a folder here because you know GitHub works a little bit differently. And then, yeah, here, here's my photon pun. So basically, you know, I write, because I'm not going to remember how the search term I used to find the find this info, but basically, you know, I have the forum thread, and then I just write down my notes here. This is the error message that I keep getting, all right? That photon pun does not instantiate on instantiate ID if you manually add an object to the scene because you did not use photon network to instantiate. So basically, what this gibberish means, I think, right? It means that when I use Unity to, okay, you know what? Unity, Unity engine. Let's see. Let me see if we can get an engine of this. Uh, let's see. Um, actually, you know what? I think we could probably. Uh, no, that's a little. Let me see. How do you have this here? Um, okay. Let's just use this then. Oh yeah, this is perfect. Um, open image a new tab. So let's see. Uh, let's see if we can make this bigger. So basically, all the stuff you see here is an object, and then this thing actually, and then each object has like apparently two IDs. One is for the client itself, so that's for Unity, and when you're actually playing the game or whatever. And then there's a second ID apparently for when you send it over the network, which I guess makes sense. Uh, the problem I'm having is when you drag and drop it, and then. Uh, just from the uh, from the editor down here, right? You know, very simple. The problem is it does not create that network ID, and they call that instantiate. So I think that's what it's called. So basically, that's why I'm getting this error, because it has it because it knows there's a game object ID for the client side, but the problem is it has no ID for the uh, for the network, and that's why it's just throwing up this annoying error. Because I get this error because I'm trying to destroy it, right? You pick up the item and then you want it destroyed across the network. So, so yeah, and I wrote here as of because I got this from somewhere else, but I don't remember where I got it, which is why I need to create this repository now. Uh, as of today, all right, Photon Pun requires you to manually oversee each manually created object. So when I drag and drop, that's what it happens. So it might be best to use an item spawner or loot table to clone the items you want. And if you don't want it to respawn, just have it spawn once. So you just pick it up. So basically, it's like Tarkov. It spawns an item like a, you know, uh, I was going to say butt plug because there's a spark plug, <laughs> but I always call it a butt plug. Uh, let's say it spawns like a, a grizzly med pack, right? A grizzly medical kit. It's a giant two by two uh, uh, super healing item. <clears throat> 
Well, obviously, once you pick up the item, because of the way the game works, right, you don't want it to respawn, because that doesn't make sense, right? That, that's why it's loot. So, uh, I just set it so that it only spawns once, right? So, it, so I think, basically, it's about uh, a server and game logic. That's what they call it. So now, now, so now I'm learning like an entirely new thing. Now the nice thing is it's based more, it's more vague based rather than detail specific based. So you know that's where I excel at is abstract thinking. I mean, the more vague something is, the more I like it because now I can just you know use my creative side rather than like the technical like you know does the does you know if and then all this you know stupid like you know photon view slash and then. Yeah, basically all that complicated computer programming stuff. So, uh, very good, you know. So uh, yeah. Um, so I mean, it would, obviously, it would be a lot simpler to make a, sim a single player game, but that you don't make as much money. And on top of that, it's kind of pointless because you know, at the end of the day, I need to try to save these cryptocurrencies so we can all make some, you know, decent cash and then do what we really want to do in life. So yeah, that requires uh, networking, multiplayer, right? No multiplayer, no point. <clears throat> so anyway, uh, so there's that. I listened to Nick Fuentes. Uh, he was appearing on some other guy that I never heard of. But they had a good discussion, and uh, he really did talk about how, you know, the establishment really, you know, he emphasized, and he said he has to emphasize this a lot how the establishment really just does not like anybody. They the left, the left wing establishment controls the Democrats, and the right wing establishment, like the Charlie Kirks, the the fake right, you know, as I call them, uh, a lot of people still don't recognize the new right as the fake right. I'm like really shocked by that, but you know, you know what? I'll just go become a billionaire, and then you know, I will crush them, you know, like uh, like like the ants that they are. Uh, or actually the rats that they are, because rats tend to be, you know, sneaky and cunning and lying and, you know, just, just running around like a rat. All right. And then, uh, whatchamacallit, because I know for a fact they ain't going to help, right? You know, because everyone on the right complains about, well, we have no entertainment. We, we have no culture, right? People are still referencing old shit. I mean, fuck, hell, like Clint Eastwood now endorsed uh, uh, Michael Bloomberg. And it's like, what? where, where did that come from? And it just goes to show that the, the the right wing of today is just like so old and crusty and just senile. It's like, all right, you know, I have to come in and like fix all of that, all right? But of course, people don't like that. So, so yeah, uh, the 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 whole old guard, the whole old boomer ideology must uh, must be purged. So that's what we'll do. And uh, I'm trying to decide if I want my game to alienate the boomers or not, because we'll definitely use the term old guard, but I might just include the boomer uh, reference in there too. Uh, I might have mentioned, but then of course it's at the game, right? I'll also make sure there's like a, uh, a way out for the boomers, right? We call them the grumblers, right? You know, so because like when you're, when you get older, you're supposed to get wiser, not more senile. So, you know, and we'll make sure we put that in too. Of course, like um, all the people that are going to get triggered by this, uh, let's go to my Twitter here. Uh, yeah, Barry Sanders actually said it, so he's really going for the jugular, all right? He's really going for the jugular. And, um, whatchamacallit, uh, yeah, I forgot my original point, but, uh, yeah, shit's really gonna hit the fed, and, like, nobody can escape the truth. And, of course, naturally, you know, all the boomers still... Because you know a lot of boomers still follow and unfollow and whatever, so I'm trying to I'm trying to see how I can trigger them into unfollowing my uh, Twitter account. So this would be pretty good. Uh, six profile clicks, yes, perfect. Yep, that's exactly what I want. Because nobody's liking it and no one's fucking doing whatever. <clears throat> right, and yeah, the the, the so-called peace deal is a fucking scam deal. Like it effectively uh, removes the Palestinians. Because basically, Israel gets everything that they want, and the Palestinian Palestinians, maybe if they behave well, they'll get a little bit of something. And that's just like, it's like, you know, no, they're, they're not going to accept it, of course. So, uh, but, you know, unfortunately, uh, i got to be careful because we're now venturing into truth talk mode. But basically, there's something... How do I put it? There's something really holding back the Palestinians, and unfortunately, there's 
basically nothing they can do about it. Um, so, yeah, I mean, Israel's pretty much going to just take everything. Right? So, I don't know. They'll have to make peace with themselves. Uh, but with that being said, at least, uh, <laughs> you know, I, I, I always find it fascinating because I... Why do Jewish people just, like, have no problem criticizing Israel? Like, there are Jews that are out there like that. And Bernie Sanders is clearly one of them. And I'm just like, wow. I'm just like, wow. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, they can, uh, you know, they can uh, they can all fight it out. So, uh, all in all, very good. And then, I don't know. Did I? I don't even remember what I was listening to with Jesse Lee Pearson. But, um, yeah, I mean, I have so much crap now to learn that, well, you know. Uh, decline that. Yeah, especially with the photon pun stuff. So, anyway, let's uh, let's get into it. Uh, Bitcoin uh, search interest for last week is still at eleven. So, all right, oh, sounds good. Bitcoin down is at sixty-two point eight percent. Twenty-four hour volume is at one forty point six billion. So, it's still pretty muted. Um, after what I was hoping would be a bull run today, it looks like the rich are still just like, you know what, we're just not going to do anything. Yeah, I have. I have to assume it's going to have to be the um, uh, the election, especially now that we see that Bernie Sanders is like just go. Is, like I was expecting Bloomberg to at least put up a fight, but this is just pathetic. Like this is just absolutely pathetic. So anyway, Bernie Sanders is going to be skyrocketing. He's already going to be the nominee, and um, I guess a lot of rich people are actually really nervous about this, right? Because because here's the thing: Bernie Sanders will actually take to task google and amazon and all the rich people that steal all of their money to give it back to us and then us uh, dissidents will be put in the gulags right if we don't toe the <laughs> toe the line so it's kind of like an interesting dynamic we have a bunch of stupid crazy violent assholes so it's like if you play dungeons and dragons there's lawful good and lawful evil so basically well chaotic evil well not know chaotic evil so the thing is, everyone's just being evil. So, yeah, I guess we could use chaotic evil. So basically, the establishment types, right, they're the lawful evil. They want order, but they still do bad things, right? That's what we're all fighting against. Bernie Sanders, on the other hand, he thinks he's doing good, but he's his, his supporters are, like, fucking psychotic, right? You know, the far left is just, like, you know, in fact, uh, you know, they beat the shit out of Owen Schroyer, which I probably don't want to show that, because, again fucking community uh, terms of service but it's on my profile on my twitter timeline so you can just go check it out there and retweet and like or whatever all right the, uh, a bunch of bernie sanders supporters just beat the shit out of him right and he's all, like he's actually like bloodied and stuff so he and his uh, bodyguard had to go to like the hospital to get stitched up so uh it's pretty it's pretty nutty so yeah so like this birdie the birdie bros are like very violent and you know going psycho so uh it's uh of course we've got people like you and me caught in the middle so uh <laughs> so yeah maybe that's got people a little nervous but uh either way uh i'm getting sick and tired of just saying well you know the bull runs might be coming now with that being said you know chart power isn't all that bad right it's kind of flat it's definitely flat lying some of it's going up a little bit, but others are flatlining. So, to be honest, I just have no idea what's happening. So, I think it'll just simply flatline for the foreseeable future. Uh, the markets are definitely nervous about something. Uh, fortunately, because it's so early that I'm doing this, um, market plunging the coronavirus fear is a time you just go on lockdown. So, I did cover this in a few videos ago. Of course, no one looked at it, uh, except like two of you probably. And, um, yeah, I mean, Italy is just going to be shutting down. So, oh yeah, I guess that's the other thing, too. People are also getting nervous about coronavirus. Uh, corona, COVID, blah, blah, blah. So, one word used with coronavirus explains why stock is totally cratering. Yeah, so I think right now everyone's just like, you know what? The, the, the fucking, the, the God's wrath is God's purge is here kind of thing. All right, you got Bernie Sanders coming, coming in for the boomer money and all the rich people. They got coronavirus, you know, basically wiping everybody out you know so it's uh there's a lot of, there's a lot of fear out there right because most people are fallen right we're in a fallen world right or fallen state as jesse lee peterson would say and people and that means people are not right with god all right so uh yeah so basically uh this world is uh the the world the, the the worldly materials or the world what the hell I'm trying to think of basically the world material wealth your fame your grifting and all that stuff that is your god you know G 
Jesus Christ and God himself is not your God. So that's why it's a problem. And therefore, you know, you'll be ruled by fear. So don't, uh, don't do that. Anyway, Bitcoin's at 97.67. Uh, everything's a little tapering. Uh, Litecoin's at 76.30. Doggy coin is at 323.3 million market cap. And Steam, I'm getting so hungry already, uh, 21.53 uh, cents. I really find it annoying that I constantly get hungry. It's like, you know, my body knows it's fat. Why does it still want more food? It's like, uh, yeah. But anyway, 21.53 cents for Steam. Uh, yeah, there's nothing here. Stocks told us coronavirus. Oh, I didn't even, I didn't even notice this red thing here. I, I just simply went straight to the finance. Huh? I just, cause like, I just learned to ignore this. South Korea and Italy confirm infections. Well, South Korea makes sense because obviously it's right next to China. So yeah, it makes sense. Uh, stocks tumble as coronavirus skills. Well, I guess we could take a look. Um, all right, you know what? Stop loading. I really hate these assholes. They force autoplay. All right, well, maybe I can at least mute this. Market brace for more volatility on Monday. So that's in uh, four minutes with investors unnerved by the growing coronavirus pandemic last week well to investors bolted risk sensitive assets in favor of safe haven assets including gold and treasuries all right so yeah this is what i was looking for when i hit the finance home stocks futures slump in early trading uh let's see dow futures are down 700 holy shit yeah this is a full-on panic okay so this is uh See, you're, see, it wasn't too long ago, like a week or two ago, that everyone was saying, well, coronavirus fears are high and cryptocurrency is going up, so therefore it's a safe haven. Well, it's pretty obvious to me that it's clearly not a fucking safe haven, right? People, the rich are actually just not doing anything with it. If it was a safe haven, this thing should be skyrocketing, like I predicted yesterday, which is obviously wrong. <laughs> so, you know, it's, uh, it, it's all bullshit, man, because... You're dealing with human emotions, unlike computer programming where everything's logical and makes sense and eventually you can figure out the predictability with 100% certainty. Once you understand like how to code, uh, human beings are completely fucking random because they're ruled by emotions. So they don't think, so they don't even think logically. And uh, now we see that in display. Uh, and of course people are going into gold, which is just stupid, but all right, whatever. I don't really care um because believe it or not i'm actually okay with the stock market cratering because maybe it'll actually make trump like you know realize hey i can't rely on the economy despite all the good shit i did maybe i maybe the only maybe what i need to do is start building the wall and deporting the illegals and all that shit you know that's that that's my that's my incentive well on top of that you know actually oh yeah we can't check mmrl actually you know i'll check i'll check it uh at the end of the video uh well i mean this might go down to like yeah yeah it's not gonna go down too much but i don't know today's gonna be a good day for me to buy that's for sure uh because i have some dividend income from mmrl but um yeah because now that i know i won't be uh buying options on the stock market most likely for bitcoin i'll be using my X. yeah i guess i could compound my mmrl Actually, yeah, you know what? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make sure I open up my stock market account in Chrome. So right, there we go. So I remind myself. Unexpected surge and confirmed infection with South Korea and Italy, which now hold the largest cases uh, outside of China. Raise the possibility that a mystery virus could be mutated. Why is there so many infections? See, the problem is they're not telling us the race of the person. So I'm just going to have to assume it's Chinese people that have some sort of connection with Italy. It's also possible there might be Italians just working in China and then they just came came back because obviously they're Italians. Uh, raised the possibility that the mystery virus could be mutating into a pandemic last week. Hubei Prime's epicenter of the blah, 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 blah. Further under my confidence in the country's official accounts. Yeah, at this point, and I thought that China is not part of the globalist agenda because they were because they refuse to go along with, uh, I can't even say it, right? They, they don't want to go along with the degeneracy of the world. So, so us Chinese people are now being punished for, uh, you know, standing up to evil, unfortunately. Um, yeah, so basically that's why they're allowing uh, everybody to just simply slam China, right? Because if, if you talk to China, if you talk about China, if you talk to a different country in the Middle East, the same way you talk about China, 
you would lose you would get deplatformed immediately all right uh which is why i'm going to be interested to see how they'll hand, handle bernie sanders because he definitely uh, has criticized in the wrong way one of the unmentionables uh in terms of countries so uh <laughs> yeah and he also happened to call out uh what was it apac yeah so you know it's gonna be interesting to see how they're gonna try to deal with deplatforming that uh it raises but the thing is uh i didn't read i didn't have time to read the dissident right articles and there's a lot of news today so you know uh i i, I have to i have to find out what's going on uh, it raises the stakes for the entire global economy rather than just China, where the overwhelming majority of 80,000 cases are located. Da, 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 da. <clears throat> the coronavirus has not only crippled China's economy, but its sheer size, magnitude, and integration of global supply chains have far reaching uh, knock on effects. Yep, that's what happens when you. Uh, you know, you put money and money on top above God, and then people are like, "Well, let's just outsource everything, all right?" And then, uh, well, you get this fucking problem: centralization. It's really more of a problem of centralization and greed, right? It's okay to be greedy, and I guess it's okay to be centralized. But the problem is, if you're both greedy and centralized, you've got a big problem, my friend. So uh, you want to decouple from that. And uh, well, I mean, that's what happens. Uh, estimates suggest that the world's second economy, the largest economy, is operating le at less than fifty percent of capacity. Yeah, if you actually watch uh, people on Twitter who who live in Wuhan, especially white people who are teaching English there, and they do like their Twitter periscopes thing, you'll see that everywhere is like it looks nice, but it's the streets are empty, right? Because you know it's either quarantine or self-imposed quarantine because people don't want to get sick, obviously. Uh, D, the extension of the statute of disrupting the likely of uh, the East of Chinese economy is going to get screwed. The supply chains uh, also impact Japan and Korean automakers. German automakers derive a substantial share of their profits from China and car sales continue to weaken. At least one of the nice things about this is this is going to make more people more and more right wing. So, uh, yeah. Because, um, because remember, the establishment really needs to maintain order. This coronavirus is the complete opposite of that. So you can bet your head, you can bet your ass right now. They've got like their hundreds of billions of dollars being focused right now on finding the vaccine of this shit. As much as they want to wipe out China, right, and us Chinese people, uh, you know what they don't want is this thing going uh, out of control. In fact, in fact, one of the dissident articles I want to read about is Iran because Iran's actually got the second most deaths now in the world from the coronavirus. Uh, so yeah, it's a, this is a bioweapon and it's, you know, it's spiraling out of control. So, uh, you know, bunk a giga, as we always say on Twitch. But yeah, if you know you're going to die, I uh, highly recommend that you, um, get right with everybody, get right with your parents if they're still alive. Actually, even if they're dead, you know, just forgive them, right? Like Jesse Lee Peterson says, and, you know, prepare for a relationship with God. Uh, and then, you know, you know, well, at least you'll have that safety net, right? You know, the virus is sending ripples across the global supply chain with names like Volkswagen, Burberry, Starbucks, and Apple among the growing list of multinational asshole pieces of shit whose operations are being severely impacted by the outbreak. Good, because that's what you deserve. You know, stu you stupid assholes, you know, fuck America in the ass and leave us to dust. Well, all right. Well, you know, get wrecked. <laughs> get wrecked. Um, we might consider this a, uh, thumbnail picture. All right. So now we know what's going on. Coronavirus is actually coming back stronger than ever. So, uh, we'll have to see how, we'll have to monitor that situation. But yeah, it looks like this bull run is going to be on pause for quite some time, at least until a vaccine is created because they already 3d mapped it, which is pretty fast. So, and the guy, and then the guy who mapped it, right. Cause I mentioned it in like yesterday or a couple days, uh, days ago in the video, that the uh, the Jewish doctor guy or the Jewish looking guy in the University of Texas Austin already 3D mapped the coronavirus. So, and he said the normal mapping time is 10 to 20 years. No, it's 10 to 20 years to create a vaccine, but thanks to technology and 3D printing and all that other, you know, artificial intelligence or whatever, um, they're already ahead of schedule by leaps and bounds. So they can create a vaccine in 18 to 24 months. So basically in two years. Um, I'm willing to bet they can probably create it probably sometime this year. 
Uh, it won't. Pro it probably won't be very stable with severe side effects, but at least you have something, right? So, uh, so we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, uh, three to four for JMC coin. Um, yeah, I'm not expecting any miracles here. Um, let's see. Four four coin is do is fighting back pretty well. It actually went as high as twelve. Holy shit! Well, shit. I wish I got. I wish I got in on that. I didn't. I, didn't, I did not expect it. Um, is it even listed here? I see some nines. I see some elevens. I see some twelves. Uh yeah we see, yeah there was a lot of buying and selling yesterday what is oh wow so yeah so four four coins spiking so the good news is people really do like four or four coins it's just like it's just getting the butt end of like whatever all this crazy emotional crap's happening so I would still say for now five to six uh, but obviously you want to try to wait a little bit uh, maybe perhaps you can get up to like even eleven twelve. I might actually consider that because I actually didn't look at it at all when I woke up. The first thing I did today after doing my video game stuff was uh, think about the photon pun problem that I mentioned earlier. So, uh, yeah, it's actually kind of nice to just keep busy, you know, keep God in mind at all times. And then, yeah, just not worry about it. So, you know, you know, God finally answered our prayers. You know, he's uh, taking away my worries. And then, you know, 404 is kind of, you know, doing its thing. All right. Obviously, we prefer better, but. Until I can get the game out and it's like stable and playable and obviously has a pretty good player base, right? So that when I introduce microtransactions uh, to the game, you know, uh, what should we call it? You know, there'll be, uh, we can siphon some of that daily uh, microtransaction dollars and funnel it into crypto. But because, you know, by implementing the payments, the thing is on the internet, because you'll probably be able to play this game on the web browser possibly or something like that. Um, I don't know. It's like, it, it might be a little, it might be a little hard. To imp I mean, I don't know how difficult it's going to be to implement it. Cause I don't have to pay the 10,000 euro fee as well. So I don't know. I mean, coin payments wasn't exactly designed to like integrate with a game, right? It doesn't, you know, so I, I don't know, but I guess I'll have to, I'll just have to worry about it later. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's see. Coin payments micro transaction game let me see what i get for this uh king one crowns so this is a blog from june 18 28 the king the king one that io system enables you to earn and spend crowns to buy or sell games or in-game assets directly merchants or other okay this is an old article which is perfect um okay so it's an ico yeah we don't care about that uh King has quickly become the largest alternative marketplace to Steam, or in Melon with over 4 million. Really? Uh, okay, so technology reached a point where the global trade between gamers can be easy, secure, and nearly. D -d -d. The annual secondary market for has gone from 0 to 1 billion. Um, hmm. Wait, what the, so what do they do? Okay. No. All right, so it's a token. The fairest most secure gain currency in the world. So, so it's an Ethereum-based token coin. From all around the possibility to trade video games at a fair price with no hassle. Oh, okay. So basically, yeah, because I remember Kingwin. They used to sell games. Okay, so basically they're a competitor to Steam. Uh, but it does say the Kingwin.io says it allows you to earn or spend crowns to buy or sell in-game assets directly with merchants. I mean, I don't know. Maybe we could hook up the crypto, our crypto here to like one of these ERC tokens for a fee. I mean, that would actually work too. Uh, of course, the mouse wheel doesn't work here. Uh, uh, video games. The premium cryptocurrency and King One enables storewide discounts, future profit sharing with the community. Uh, I've been very the gaming community. Uh, as user adopts care as a means of paying out Queen Gwynn. Yeah, so here's the transaction. But yeah, I'm not surprised because this is exactly what I'm doing too. Right? Everyone's already. People who are even. I want 
I guess semi-advanced in economics like me, right, and eventually all of you, you'll eventually figure out where this is going to go. Like, this is only going to go into, like, the mul- This is a tr- This is the next... If you want to become a trillionaire, this is probably how you want to do it, right? Uh, simply because the barrier to entry is actually a lot lower than having to, say, found founding a company like Apple and Google or Microsoft. Um... Known uh, crowns as payment method in Kingland or transaction, they're 12, hey, t- number of total user growth. Uh, uh, so we're going to focus on a closed loop ecosystem for top 4,000 active business merchants. Um, okay. Retail, yeah. Okay, well, this is probably where I want to be, phase three, because that basically means they work out all the bugs and make it and focus more on usability. So if someone like me, all I have to do is just simply, you know, implement their API. Kingly introduced a free virtual currency to community how it fits with the crypto crowns. Da, da, da. The problem is I still have to use the crowns from these guys. You know, we still want, we want to implement this. So uh, I don't know. We're, um, I don't know. I guess we'll see. Um, let's see. Yeah. Uh, how do we put in coin payments? Free payments, payments can help startups increase adoption. Do you need cryptocurrency payments? To, uh, do not trust payments with coin payments. So does someone just complain about it? Uh, to prepare privately, why do you readily accept the presence of microtransactions? Well, that's obvious because they don't have a choice. And then B, if they're playing a free-to-play game or a very cheap game, they, I mean, some of them, I mean, a lot of gamers understand that yeah, it's kind of expensive to maintain all these servers. So, but like, what do people expect? Um, all right. So anyway, that's four hundred four uh, two by two coins at sixty to sixty six. So uh, yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, it went as high as 68, so uh, yeah, so I guess whatever caused this surge also caused the surge, also caused the surge here, too. So, yeah, oh wow, so wow, I didn't see that, I didn't even notice this. So, yeah, JMC coin went as high as five, so yeah, somebody's getting spooked right now. <laughs> Interesting, compound coin remains quite stable. It's at um, let's just do that. Uh, hold on. Let me just do my hero shit. Uh, forty-three eleven to forty-eight ninety-eight. So yeah, I have a tendency to lean forward because of the because of the way the stupid chair is. So you know what? Let's make. It's also because the font size is so damn small. Because I don't have to squint. I can actually see just fine s- small, but it's like a natural habit. I don't even think about it. And obviously, I'm doing the video, so I'm not even thinking about my uh, habits here. So yeah, forty three eleven to forty nine hundred satoshis of a dollar coin. So compound coin is doing all right. And uh, to be honest, um, I actually think this is fine. I think uh, we've covered the news essentially because I don't even care about the other stuff. So uh, let the blood, let the blood. Oh yeah, holy shit. Yeah, this looks awful. Wow, look at the Dow eight thir- minus eight thirty four. Oh yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm willing to bet Trump's going to have a heart attack today, that's for sure. Even crude oil is down. Everybody, yeah, the rich are in full panic mode. So there is something that rich people do fear. Huh. Who, who, who would have thought? Who would have thought? Let's see, how far down did you go down, my friend? Yeah, it's not too bad at all, actually, 1520. So even if I buy now, it's still actually going to be pretty expensive today. All right, well, I'll have plenty of time to think about it. So if you like what you saw, read or heard, Hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from. Or on my YouTubes at youtube.com forward slash JMC radio. Uh, smash that subscribe button on the right hand side of this page. And uh, yeah. Uh, well, you know, you want to save yourself, right, through God. You know, you might no, actually, no, that's not the way I want to put it. If you would like to figure out how to save yourself, yes, subscribe. And then, uh, yeah, I'll just redirect you to Jesus Christ and God. And, of course, all the actual technical know-how that I happen to have to help you along your journey, right? Because in the end, there's only one person that can save your ass, and that's God, or Jesus Christ if you prefer, and uh, nobody else, not even me. 
But, you know, we can help you with that. So that's that's why I am here. So anyway, I'm done for the day. Uh, I'm going to go make food. I'm just hungry. In fact, I think I might just take today off as a physical day off as well. Uh, yeah, I forgot to write no weights in my... Oh, my God. I don't know what it is, but Windows has just become so buggy lately. No weights to 23, 20, 20. I, I love the fact that I now write down everything, so now I don't have to remember stuff. Uh, yeah, I guess we could delete this too. And then, uh, yeah, you know, uh, I don't even remember. So anyway, uh, don't travel. Just be careful because obviously coronavirus is now back on the rampage. Uh, in the meantime, speaking of rampages, the Bernie Sanders, Bernie bros are also going on a rampage. They're punching and kicking and whatever. And of course, Bernie Sanders is just going for the jugular. So, uh, I think Trump can still win, but I'm okay if Trump has to sweat a little bit. So, you know, cause it'll actually make him stop bullshitting for once and he'll actually do something. All right, and apparently he is. You know, he's kip, he's kicking out a, a list of evil deep state people. So, uh, you know, it's not entirely a wash, and uh, therefore, you know, uh, God will probably let Trump win re-election because he actually deserves re-election. But that doesn't mean we can't have a little fun with Bernie Sanders. You know, and I tell you, Bernie Sanders is actually bringing up good points, right? Because most people are like, well, you can't criticize Israel, and the Palestinians are all bad people, right? Well, Bernie's like. No, that's that's cruel and that's not true. Right? They both deserve uh, peace and security, which is actually true. But the problem is, a lot of people just don't like Palestinians, right? And of course, you got the other extreme, which is people don't like the Israelis. So, <laughs> round and round the cycle goes. So, all right. But either way, God's will is with us all, and uh, yeah, you know, things are actually going to get better, right? Even though it doesn't look that way. So it's uh, it's going to be pretty good. It's going to be pretty good. Anyway, see you all in tomorrow's video. Thanks for watching, and I am going to make myself ghetto chicken parmesan. Judson Chen, JMC Coin, a 404 coin, and uh, yeah, today's going to be a pretty good day to buy. Maybe we could gamble a little bit and wait till tomorrow to buy, assuming tomorrow the stocks go down even further. That'll be a good time to buy, too.